Today I'm in Marple to visit a very special Neapolitan pizza restaurant. Now the reason it's so special, apart from the food, is that by the time you watch this, it might not be in Marple. Could be anywhere in Greater Manchester, because this is on a boat. Hello mate. Hey mate, how, how are you? you doing? Good, thank you. This place looks amazing, Paul. I love it. So how long you have this place? We bought the boat uh, two years ago. We thought on the Macclesfield Canal there's nothing for people to go and have a coffee or a piece of cake. And obviously we come up with the pizza idea along the way. So you live on a boat? Yeah, I live you on a boat. You work on a boat? Yeah, I've lived on a boat for about six years now. Wow. I don't know what people think about boats, but... They think it's cold and small. Yeah, it's narrow, but hence the name, narrow, narrow boat. boat yeah. How'd you get that pizza oven on this yeah. boat? When it originally came, there was five of us. Get your big mates in. It was a bigger squeeze getting us in, never mind the pizza oven. One thing I really need to know, have you gone in? Many times, yeah. Part of living on the boat is that you have to expect that you're going swimming in the canal a few times. So how do you let people know? It's all done by Facebook and Instagram. We post on there what's going to be on the specials and stuff like that, and then where we're going to be, what area. And then once I've moved the boat up, we advertise exactly where we are. It's a proper family affair, isn't it? It's so named after the granddaughter. Yeah, Matilda, a little character. She liked the Walsh and Matilda song, so I thought, well, it's going to be called Matilda. The waltzing, because we're waltzing up and down the canal. Your daughter's involved as well. Yeah, my daughter, Rebecca, I call her Spud. She does the brownies and the cakes. People come back just for the brownies. you got a son as well? I have, Chris. He's the chef. He's the one what does all the pizzas. But it's good to see people enjoying it. Exactly. You're bringing people pizza and pizza equals joy. So you're just spreading yeah. joy, aren't you? Up and yeah. Down the canal. yeah, people say it's the best crust in this side of Italy. <laughs> Do they? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, well, yeah. I'm going to find out. Do you mind if I go on yeah, and just say hello to Chris? Yeah, yeah, you go on. So you must be Chris, the chef. That's correct. Your dad's told me a lot about you. All good at it. Oh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. They like the TARDIS, surprisingly spacious. It still blows my mind the fact that you've got a whole pizza oven yeah, so down we, this end. We had that custom made for the boat. Your dad said he had some big friends. Yeah, I watched. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it work in here then? Because it's still two people on a boat. It's quite chaotic when we're busy. So I work with pizzas in here. Uh, wood fire, I stretch here, move along to a production line, throw them in the oven, and then they get thrown at my dad and he bags them up. And it's been a roaring success. People have been so receptive to the idea of a pizza on a boat. We didn't expect how crazy it's been, to be honest. It's a testament to you guys. The pizzas must be good. And there's something quite special about the fact that <laughs> yeah, it's a unique. floating unique. pizzeria. I don't know anyone in the UK who's doing anything fully made on board like this. When thinking about, right, we're going to get a boat, we're going to do food, why did you decide on pizza? Pizza is something that what keeps cropping up in my career. So I worked with a little Italian chef called Talima and she taught me lots about pizzas and I you know, started loving it. So then I went on a few courses with a chef called Marco Fuso, who's like the godfather of pizza. Wow. I think it ties in with the canal boat. It's simple life, simple food, but done really nicely. We try and source local, so from our coffee to our ingredients, we use a Manchester-based supplier, and we obviously go down to different places in the canal. It's like a little mini food tour you do, Yeah, right? exactly, up food, food safari. <laughs> so what type of pizzas do we do? So it's Naples style, but done with a bit of a twist. We use um, a different technique called Biga, which is a, a pre-ferment. It creates a bit of a lighter area crust. And what's your favorite? Our most popular is probably my favorite. It's because of Swagman, obviously. The Jolly Swagman from Waltz and Matilda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we named it that, and it being our most popular pizza, it's Trezzo and do your uh, candy jalapenos and chili honey, Ooh. just glazed on the crust. It's delicious. This is just what I wanted it to be. You know, you got a picture in your head before you eat something. This has lived up to those expectations. The crust soft in the middle, crispy on the outside, the tomato sauce, the color in itself is enough to attract you. Slightly sweet, which is enhanced by that honey. You've got the spiciness coming through from the enduja, the chorizo, also the jalapenos. I don't like using the word perfect, but this pizza is as close to perfect as I'd had in a long time. And by the way, it's not just about the food, it's about the surroundings. I'm sat in the sunshine next to the water with a pizza that's just been cooked on a boat. That's good enough for me.